Hey everyone, welcome to your All Signs reading for your weekly messages. I'm so sorry this is late. <laughs> Been very busy running errands, doing the family stuff, and I just need a little, a little bit of a break. Um, but I do apologize for being late, but I am getting to it now. Um, this will be for All Signs from Aries. I will go in the order from Aries to Pisces in that order. I will also get um, one card for each for the tea that you might need to know for the week. Or that could be coming out because we did have that full moon in Aries, which is doing its thing. And then also, um, we have, um, don't quote me on this though, but we have Jupiter, I think is, not Jupiter, but Sagittarius and Venus right now. We have Mars transiting Cancer. We have um, something else going on too. There's a lot of stuff that's going on astrologically as well. Also, I believe there's going to be a water trine in the sky when the sun moves but you might want to google that i don't know i heard something about that I read something about it but i didn't take notes on it but there's going to be a water trine made between all three water signs um there's some other stuff going on with the fire energy too that's going into what like fires i think fire energy is going into water but don't quote me on that but there's a lot of stuff going on we are in a karmic year it's an eight year okay which is also a uh like in the tarot is the eighth card is the strength card so leo and then um, karma or justice, if you want to call it that, is Libra energy, okay? So that is, you know, I've been telling you guys for a little while, if you've been with me for a little while, that this is, um, it's like everything's going to be start coming to a head. And the Aries full moon was revealing or bringing up things that may or may not have either been revealed or resolved from about seven months ago. And the next six months, this energy is going to be around. So... Take care of yourself, most important, right? Be there for yourself, take care of yourself, and when appropriate, you know, if you deem it appropriate to apologize and or to forgive if you deem it appropriate to others. But first and foremost, forgive and accept yourself, okay? Nevertheless, I will get some tea. Now, these are messages that are gonna be a little bit quicker um, since, this, since it is pre-recorded. Um, and I will go, like I said, from Aries to Pisces in that order get T message for um, all the zodiac signs. I will get a love message and a money message. Zodiac signs you could be dealing with but not limited to as well as guidance for each of the signs. These messages will be a little bit quicker. Um, they're gonna be more of like your, instead of like beginning, middle and end, they're gonna be more of like your overall, what's the overall energy and I will clarify it with the tarot, okay, for the week. So also, if you would like to check out my Patreon channel, the link to that is below. The weeklies are up for that for this week for the Patreon, for the collective. The um, uh, Kings and Queens or Divine Mask and Divine Feminines reading as well are up. And at some point this week, um, I will be starting on the November um, monthly readings for my Ride or Die tier over there. Also, if you are a Scorpio, happy birthday. Your season starts tomorrow. Happy early birthday. Many blessings to you. Um, be good <laughs> to yourself and to others the be best that you can. And I hope that you rock the season. And I will be either either this week or next week when I actually do your um, in-depth birthday reading. Okay? So be on the lookout for that. But definitely check out Patreon below. And if you would like to get a private person reading, my email is also below. And don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, and hit all notifications. That way you never miss an upload. As well as um what else um also don't forget to do the hashtag tarot tarot reading love reading your zodiac sign you can do scorpio season now because we're going into that you can also do speaky, spooky season halloween if you want um in the comment section below um that way at the end of this month i will be picking someone from youtube to win a free reading for me and someone from my paid patreon member as well okay all right i think that is it um okay they told me to do one little collective message, but after I get through all of the other stuff, not before. Okay. Well, let me write that down real quick. Okay. So the, even after guidance spirit. Yes. Okay. That's a new one, but okay. I'm going to do it. Okay. Bye. All right. So, and again, timestamps will be in the description box and in the comment section below. All right. Aries. What's up? Let me do your time stamp. Four, four, and four. Okay. So check out that number. So any of the numbers for your time stamp, you guys, make sure that you um, check that out and see what that means for you. Okay.
Spirit, what do you have? What is the overall? What is happening? The main, if, if there's any main events for Aries this week, what's going on for Aries? Give me one card overall. Okay, you got the Grim Reaper ending and starting over. Well, we are going into Scorpio season, so there's an ending and a connection, friendship, family. Are you just ending something like within yourself, like a pattern of behaviors? Or, um, and you know, it doesn't have to be like an ending, ending. It could be the ending of a cycle within a connection, within a friendship, a business. But there is a restart here. Um, it can, okay, can talk about transformation as well. Or you are moving away. Okay. What is this ending about for this week for Aries? Transforming something. Okay. Okay. What is the ending and starting over for um, Aries this week? Why is it here? Okay. All right. You have the five of wands in reverse. That's Leo energy, fire energy. Okay. You're not competing with anyone or any, for, with anyone for anyone. You're putting it into the drama and starting over you or someone else around you. So again, take what resonates, leave the rest. Obviously, roles can be reversed. Okay. Give me one more from the top. Okay. The cherry in the reverse. Okay. You're not moving. You're not moving forward to fight with someone. This is like a, a, a full stop. Okay. Cherry could be Cancer, Aries, Sagittarius, because the cherry usually has the emperor, which is you, whether masculine or feminine, in the, uh, in the chariot. You're not fighting for someone to stay. You're not fighting for someone to leave. Whatever that is. It could be, even be within work. One more from the top. Mm, okay. Nine of Swords in reverse and Gemini energy. You're also not feeling bad about it. Mm -mm. Nope. This is the end of arguments, the end of drama, end of the competition. You see, look, you see how there's like a spider, right? And weaving all these webs and they're trying to, it's really like a pinata, right? It's like somebody, you're putting it into something, catching something and putting it into it full stop. And you're not feeling bad about it. It relieves your anxiety. Whatever this is, you or somebody else here moving away from whatever this is or moving away from anything that would be com competitive or competition or one-upping each other, friends, or in the workplace, it's giving you a sense of relief. Mm-hmm. And you don't, you don't feel bad about it. Okay. Feels like you're kind of like standing on business about whatever this is. Um, and you're not, you're not letting anybody guilt trip you into something or whatever this is and again like i said you're not moving forward you're not arguing with somebody you're not going to debate this with someone and you it's like relieving some form of anxiety that you have this week okay i don't hate it give me why is the relief of the anxiety it's like oh okay i like that though i'm not complaining king of swords in first could be aquarius energy yeah mm -mm. you okay you could be, um, yeah, you don't, you or somebody else, if somebody here has been manipulating you or trying to play a mind game with you and make you compete for them romantically or friendship wise or in a workplace thing, you are not doing that. Mm -mm. I mean, if someone's trying to make you feel jealous or make you want to argue, you are Aries. You, okay, you're not doing that. <laughs> I mean, you are the god and goddesses of war. So is Scorpio on the, uh, only at nighttime though. Like you have no problem with an argument, right? If it's for a worthy cause, this is where you're releasing it because you realize it's not worth the hassle. Can't argue. Okay. I just already can't argue with stupidity or somebody who's gaslighting and manipulating themselves, who is also very manipulative and you, you don't feel bad about walking away or not arguing with this person or not fighting with this person. Mm -mm. Full stop. Now, if you're not chasing after someone, bravo. Um, this person does not feel bad about manipulating you if it's that direction, okay? They don't feel bad about it. They don't lose any sleep over it either, but I get more so it's you relieve, you feel relieved like a sense of relief because you're not dealing with anybody who is stressing you out to that capacity. Okay. 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 I love that. Very good. All right. And that, my dear, is what I have for you. Okay. Let's move on to Taurus. 950. Okay. 
All right, Taurus, what's up, honey? Let's see what your overall, what's going on for you overall this week, please, for Taurus. And then I'll clarify with the tarot. This could be, you know, take what resonates, leave the rest, not your story. Obviously, don't try to make it fit. Roles can be reversed. Definitely check out the intro. Very important information there, okay? What is going on, please, for Taurus overall this week for my Taurians, for Taurus people? Okay, you got zombie stuck, slow moving, and retry. This could be someone from your past that either you're stuck on or they're stuck on you. Something is, be careful of anyone trying to slow you down because they want to get, they, they want you back. You could also want someone back, possibly from your past, but it's making you feel stuck or it's making someone else feel stuck, okay? It's, or if someone told you that they were coming back around, maybe for whatever reason from the past, um, they're really taking their sweet ass time, okay? Maybe they promise to give you a, a retry or you them, but they're taking their slow ass time here. Um, or you just feel kind of stuck in a situation. You feel like, okay, I heard time is passing you by and you don't have, you don't have, to, I feel like you're starting to lose patience with something or someone. Why is the zombie here, please, for Taurus? You also have the five of wands in reverse. Aries just had that. You're not arguing. That is technically a Leo card. You're not arguing with somebody. You're not going to be in competition with someone. You don't want the drama. You don't want the smoke, okay? And if someone's taking their sweet-ass time to do something, then, I mean, that probably should tell you just about as much as you need. Yeah, look, Page of Swords, Gemini energy. You could be watching to see if somebody here is giving up a fight or giving up the drama or trying to start drama with you. That could be communication. Okay, it's very little communication. Or it's good news that some type of drama is stopping. Okay. All right, Gemini there with the King of Cups in reverse, though. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. If somebody told you that they were leaving someone else for you, I would be mindful of that. It could be some form of emotional manipulation, okay? And also from the top, we have the justice mm -mm, in reverse. It's not true. It's not justified, and it's not, it's not fair. There was an injustice that was done here. You could also be receiving news for some from someone about them not fighting with somebody else or not fighting for someone else. Maybe they've been telling that they're very stuck in something. They're taking their sweet-ass time to get out of it. I don't really feel like that's true. Um, with the King of Cups in the reverse and Justice in reverse, you're, I don't know if you're trying to bring somebody else their karma. Or you're watching to see if somebody's getting their karma. Here's the deal about that. When you're watching and hoping and praying on somebody else's downfall, it usually gets them blessed. I don't know what they did and what they didn't do. I don't know. I'm not telling you right or wrong. All I'm saying is, is that what you wish for somebody else may come back to bite you in the ass later, okay? You're watching to see if somebody's getting their karma, but you're stuck doing that. Like, there's a stuckness here. Mm -hmm. You're stuck... You're watching, you're stuck and things are moving really slow for you. Maybe you want another chance with someone or you think somebody else wants another chance with somebody else. I don't know. But it's like you're watching to see if somebody here is getting dropped, getting their karma, what have you. But it's keeping you stuck. I don't think this person even knows you're watching them. Or spying on them. What is that? King of Cups reverse, Justice reverse? We got the King of Pentacles in reverse. Now, this could be you, Taurus. Masculine or feminine doesn't matter. This could be someone who's opening up emotionally and you feel like it's not fair. With the King of Pentacles in reverse, Taurus, that can talk about corruption. Know your intentions because if you're wishing that on somebody else, it could be coming back to bite you. You see what I'm saying? Because you don't know somebody else's path. You don't know what somebody has done, not done, whatever, uh, in a previous life. If that's what you believe in, the only thing you can worry about is yourself right now. With the King of Pentacles in verse, this is someone who is um, very angry or jealous. Could be someone who's quite possessive as well. This could also be someone who is, um, well, you know, could be corrupt. Not, could be very corrupt. And you feel like, you may feel like it's unfair to watch somebody move forward. Okay, but it's keeping you stuck. So you're not being fair to yourself, because here you are. You're not. Your, you're not. You're not owning your power or your feelings. You gotta own yourself. You gotta own your responsibility. You gotta own your. You feel like it's not fair. Okay. 
uh, somebody else could be getting dropped like another option here this can talk about games getting dropped drama getting dropped um competition getting dropped you or someone else but you're stuck watching but it that's the thing whether this person these people who whatever the situation is feel know that you're watching them or not are spying on them or not does not matter right it's keeping you stuck at this point it's time for you to move forward okay or at least consider it okay but that my dear is what these are very quick okay this is what i have for you i hope that helps you honey okay all right let's go to gemini all right gemini all right gemini sun moon rising venus um placements this is your overall weekly message for this week um take what resonates leave the rest not your story honey don't try to make it fit obviously roles can be reversed what is going on for you overall this week what's the one of the main events or whatever's going on okay hopefully it's good let's see what's going on for gemini this week okay familiar intimate companion so this could be something about your um relationships going something going on with your relationships maybe you're having a good time with a, a romantic partner this could intimate companion could be like a friend as well like a very close friend or a lover or a partner husband wife boyfriend girlfriend whatever right okay what's going on with this intimate companion for you gemini this week what's going on with that for, okay for some of you you're really opening up to someone okay or someone's really opening up to you maybe something okay what is this intimate companion about you could be missing someone as well possibly okay well, obviously roles can be reversed right what's this in okay we have the eight of cups in the reverse Okay, Pisces energy, you may feel like, now, this could be you going back to someone or somebody around you going back to another person. Or you want you want somebody to come back home. Okay. Or this could be you coming back home. Okay. With the Six of Pentacles in the reverse, though. But there's no equal give and take in that situation. We got Pisces, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Libra. There's no There's no reciprocity here. So, if somebody wants you to come back to them, but what are they coming back to? If, if, if somebody wants you to come back towards them, what are you going back to, uh, Gemini? There's no, there's no reciprocity here. There's no equal give and take between the two of you. Um, if you want somebody to come back towards you, for what? There's no equal give and take. Okay. This could be somebody else. Look, two of cups, yeah. Romeo and Juliet, okay, Cancer, uh, Leo, Scorpio here, okay. We all know the story of Romeo and Juliet, right? Star-crossed lovers, they drink poison because the families don't get along, okay? Be careful, Why? okay, if you want somebody, to, okay, if, if somebody wants you to come back towards them, but there's no equal give and take, it's for nothing there's no stability there's no practicality there's no meeting each other's needs or meeting in the middle if you want somebody to come back towards you same thing applies okay show me that um two of cups please yeah six of wands in the upright so okay so somebody here wants to be in a relationship so things can look good publicly but there's nothing that's balanced or it wasn't before maybe you're trying to convince somebody to come back towards you or them you trying to get you to come back towards them but they're they're need maybe this was what happened before this is why somebody walked away because there was no equal give and take or somebody here feels like they can't walk away from somebody because they don't have the finances to do so that could be that too or this is somebody around you but but as you say there could be an equal give and take or somebody wasn't giving to you or you weren't giving to somebody else appropriately because somebody was getting attention elsewhere Ten of Cups in the reverse. Ooh, with a higher front reverse. It wasn't fulfilling for you or for somebody else because somebody here with a higher front reverse was given was not being committal. Somebody was attention seeking. Mm-hmm. Taurus, Cancer there. Mm-hmm. That could be what's coming out. The reason why things weren't going well between you and another person is because someone you or them had uh was getting attention elsewhere. 
getting their needs met elsewhere. Okay. Or this was you. I don't know. Let me get one more on that. Tell me one more thing about this. And I hate leave you like that. Tell me one more thing about this intimate companion. What's going on? Show. Oh, let me see. Show me Gemini in the situation. What's Gemini's? What's got Gemini going? Okay, Axe. Okay. Either you're breaking up with someone, or someone's breaking up with you. Okay. Or this could be an ex. Okay. That's you. You you cut something off, or somebody's cutting you off. Okay. What about the person you were crying about? Fish. Pisces. Energy. Also money. Someone's being cut off financially. Okay. Show me the ax about you. The boot. Putting your foot down. Okay. Maybe you put your foot down about somebody or some. maybe you feel like someone's putting their foot down with you. Why is your person showing up with somebody as very abundant? There could also be a pregnancy or there's a Pisces here. What is that about? Yeah, offers. Yeah. Romantic offers, actually. So somebody here has, has other romantic offers. Flowers could be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Pisces, the boot here. You're being okay. So somebody here is asking you to put you put yourself in their shoes. What would they do? I'm not I'm not condoning any bullshit. I promise you that. But that's what I'm hearing. Or you're like, yeah. you feel cut off from something. Okay, possibly. Okay. Why the axe then for you? Time. It's time to act something out or to stop something. Okay. What's the boot about? The skull in something walk away from something put it into something it's time to put it into something okay 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 or it's time for somebody to put the foot down could be a scorpio all right what about the fish on your purse now obviously roles can be reverse why did they have the fish here watching someone's watching the finances here someone's watching finances big time someone could be very financially controlling or they're watching the finances um, pocket watching. They're being pocket watch or they're pocket watching you. Or someone's wishing bad on somebody. Okay, what's the flowers about? Questions. Someone's got questions about, okay, so your person may not understand why you haven't, the time to end something has not happened yet on your end. Or you're asking someone this. This person also has got questions for you about these new offers here, um, Gemini. What is that about? Somebody's watching uh, either a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, strong Pisces here are wishing bad on somebody else's finances, or somebody is quite literally watching bank statements here and they're finding out that somebody here has questions or they don't want to be questioned about some type of offer that they have, like they're trying to evade accountability or they think you are. Okay, but I got to go. But that's what I got. So there's something about your relationship between you and another person. Or, okay. Uh, I heard it could be coming to a head. Or this could be something about um, somebody that you're with or somebody you know going through this as well. Keep that in mind, okay? But that's what I got. All right. Next is Cancer 2341. Okay. All right, Cancer. What's up, honey? Let's see what um, this is. You Cancer Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. This is whatever's. The main event or the main theme of the week for you this week um obviously you know take what resonates leave the rest if it's not your story do not try to make it fit obviously you know roles can be reversed okay what is going on please for my cancers this week overall cancer show me cancer please obviously take what resonates like i said um don't make it fit if it doesn't roles can be reversed what's going on this week for my cancers please cancer okay Overall, we have Sunflower Spotlight, happiness and success. Very Sagittarius type of energy. You could have Sagittarius in your chart or be dealing with one. Something is in the spotlight or some there's some form of happiness or success in a connection or friendship here. Okay. You could be getting flowers. Giving flowers. Give me one more. Something making you happy. You could be in the spotlight. Some form of, ha some form of sun could be Leo too or Sagittarius. Okay. 
Okay. Oh, no. Okay. We got the killer, which that's not what it means necessarily, but we got stalked, obsessed, and impulsive. Not like an actual, but okay. And then we got crow, gifts, messages, and inspiration. You or somebody else here is either giving flowers to somebody who does not want them or some, or you are receiving them from somebody that you feel like might be obsessed with you. Someone is obsessed with um, another person's gifts, spiritual gifts, the messages here. Okay. What's this? Okay. Something may be coming to light about somebody who stalked another person. I mean, if that's the case, please seek help. Seek the authorities, okay? If that's happening to you or cross watch if that's happening to you. There's some form of inspiration to speak with someone. Okay, what is the spotlight about? Happiness and success, okay? Someone's watching to see if somebody's really, truly happy and success. Okay. Something's impulsive here. The Hierophant in the reverse. Taurus energy. Somebody's spotlighting how a bad contract or, okay, there could be a contract going, falling through, not going through properly. This could also be the authorities not listening to something. Or this could be something's coming to light and it causes a breakup or maybe a divorce or breaking of a contract of some kind. It doesn't have to be romantic. Um, okay. And it could make you or somebody else very happy, okay? Okay, yeah, we got Judgment, Sagittarius, Scorpio's final decision. Someone's making a, or getting a wake-up call. Someone's either getting a wake-up call, trying to resurrect a connection, and or somebody is breaking a marriage contract or a business contract, okay? What's this um, stalked, obsessed, and impulsive? Be careful of the impulsive energy from others and or within yourself because of winning at all costs, okay? It's a final decision, okay? Okay, we have the world, it's over it's over either with you or with somebody else here it's over the three majors already this week it's a big big deal you got any fixed sign could be leo aquarius taurus scorpio sagittarius as well with the world here this is someone could be getting okay this could also be somebody here who could be in the public eye being judged harshly by the public and or by whatever platform it is cutting somebody's account because of something that they done wrong I don't know there's an end to somebody being obsessed there's an end to some a closing out of a cycle a cycle is now complete there's an end to that okay someone should not have been stalking another person what's this gift and messages and inspiration about okay knight of cups in the reverse insincerity cancer Pisces here okay um if okay there is some form of um cheating maybe this this could be infidelity this could be you know uh fake apologies someone here may be inspired to give someone an apology but it's not sincere it's only to try to save their ass okay yeah it's reckless somebody did something i don't know in the past that was reckless or foolish and it's costing them now. Now, now somebody is wishing that they could go back and not have done whatever this reckless thing was. What was done that was so reckless? What was done? Because now it's like somebody here, if it's in work, somebody here is being judged either publicly or online or something like that. Because we have the world that can be t that can talk about um, like the internet or platforms, right? And they were insincere in what they said. It's like a defamation of character, slander. This could talk about, you know, um, I'm not a lawyer. It's not legal advice, but this can talk about legal issues. Um, you know, could be a potential strong liability. Either this happened to you or you did this to someone. Now, somebody here is being judged by a company. If it's regarding work, final decision. You should have stopped. Someone should have stopped doing that. Someone didn't. Now, somebody it feels inspired to give it a fake apology in order to save a platform or something. If it that's one if it's a relationship somebody is hoping that they can convince another person by shining a light on something and because they shine a light on something they want to ho their hopes is to create a final decision about to force somebody to leave a marriage or to break up their own marriage to come towards you or you them um, or to get somebody who is like the actual spouse to walk away and make a final decision here but somebody here is obsessed with winning to ending something for another person. 
gifts, messages, and inspiration. Someone's in, someone might be gifting somebody some insincere messages about, could be text messages, emails, or whatever between two people. You got Cancer Pisces there in order to cause this ending or do it very publicly. And bottom of the deck, I got Queen of Cups in reverse. That's Cancer Pisces, okay? That can talk about emotional manipulation. And we have the star in the reverse as well at the bottom. This talks about a fall from grace. Not getting what one wants. You could be doing another water sign. Another Cancer or Pisces specifically. Or any of the signs I've said. Another, yeah, Aquarius there. Somebody's not falling for the manipulation to give you what you want or vice versa. But this is regarding a business or online community or platform or whatever because spotlight is here somebody's obsessed was obsessed at least in the past to try to ruin it for through you know defamation slander of character um and that's coming down to bite somebody else back on, in the ass basically someone's having a big fall from grace regarding that and or relationships and if there's a relationship here, you're not getting what you want. Trying to manipulate somebody out of their own wish fulfillment, you, that's not how it's going to go. Someone could be trying, you might be trying to manipulate an Aquarius possibly even to give you what you want through manipulation. Telling them, I don't know, like you're some type of twin flame or whatever. Uh, no, no, that's propaganda. And number one, number two, the person who actually started that shit, uh, with, I think it was a woman. There was like a whole documentary about it, um, said that it was, um, you know, a scam to get money. So, I don't know why I felt the need to tell you that, okay? If you think that apologizing publicly to someone for doing something like this is going to be enough, no, there has to be some type of accountability because the time, I heard the time passed. Someone didn't listen to divine guidance to do the right thing when they had the opportunity, okay? Or you didn't, okay? They didn't or you didn't, okay? Show me the star reverse, why? Yeah, protection. Someone's being protected. Someone may be trying to cover this up. Yep, but it's coming to light anyways what was done and why it was done. Okay. Okay, we have temptation, flirtation that may be coming to light. Someone may have went to someone's home that was married or engaged to be married, trying to cause a breakup, and they didn't get what they wanted, or you didn't. Yeah, there's a phone call here that... um that's why the act was done or somebody acted out because they didn't get what they wanted okay someone's very protected okay you or someone else i don't know but that's what i got that's interesting okay very interesting um reading uh cancer okay all right next is i hope that helps you um if this is not your reading cancer it could be somebody around you who's going through this okay it does not have to be you it could be somebody you know or somebody, you know, your person knows if you're in a relationship. Keep that in mind. All right, let's go the Leos. What's up, honey? Let's see, 33, 13. All right, here we go. All right, Leo, what's up, honey? What is going on for you um, this week? So, Leo, sun. Ooh, Leo, okay. My goodness. Leo, sun, moon, rising, and Venus placements. This is your weekly message for the overall theme. Um, definitely go check out the intro for important um, information about giveaways and things like that. Also, my Patreon channel, all that stuff, okay? That's an intro. But Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, please, this is your overall message for this week. Take what resonates. Leave the rest. If it's not your story, honey, please do not try to make it fit. Um, roles, roles can be reversed. Or this could be somebody that you know or somebody your person knows who might be going through this, okay? It could be about anything. What is the main theme or event of the week for my Leos? For Leo guy, honey. What's going on, please? Okay. It's carnival mask. Fun time feelings and forbidden. So you or somebody else here is wearing a mask about fun times of hiding their feelings behind a mask here because they're forbidden feelings. Okay. Why is that? Real quick, hold on. Why is that forbidden mask here for Leo? Okay, we have mermaid going deeper. Okay. This could be Pisces or Cancer, strong Pisces though. Um, that's a siren. So there's a temptation here. Someone's got deep, hidden, forbidden feelings for somebody that's tem tem a temptation of some kind. Okay. Okay. You or someone else. 
All right, let's see. What is this about, honey? All right, let's show me the fun time, feelings, carnival, and forbidden. Or, excuse me, fun time, feelings, forbidden, behind the carnival mask. Okay, someone's putting on a show. Or you are, okay? Somebody, um, mermaid here, that's like the siren going deeper. This is deep. Somebody's been, somebody's in, I heard, in deep, in too deep. Can't get out, okay? All right, what is this, um, fun time, forbidden feelings? Okay, we have the Queen of Wands reverse. This could be you. Could be, um, you could, you know, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay. In reverse. Okay. That's like the other woman. They feel very vindictive. Okay. Somebody here has, okay. Someone is not confident of that you'll, I don't know, choose them or you're not confident somebody will choose you. Okay, someone could be getting very upset, or someone's got for deep, for deep forbidden feelings of revenge against either you or you have this way, but against somebody else because there's a temptation here. Someone has has been tempted by a siren. Okay. Okay. And we have the star in reverse. Okay, Aquarius energy. Oh, okay. You may have forbidden feelings for some... Now, the Queen of Wands in reverse could be a man in their emotions. And their emotions are not good. Somebody is hoping for somebody's downfall. Wishing for it. I mean... Or somebody here is hoping that a Sagittarius doesn't heal something with an Aquarius. Because you have forbidden feelings for that person's partner, husband or wife, or something like that. If you're a man, you are in your emotions. You're hoping for somebody else to not heal something with someone else so you can be with them. You are in love with a, if it's a, if you're a man, you could be in love with the guy's wife. Okay. And it's forbidden and it's a temptation. It's, you're in deep. Or your hidden behind the mask feelings that are you feel like are forbidden is that you are hoping somebody doesn't get the wish fulfillment. You're hoping that somebody falls from grace. They could be in the public eye. Okay. We got Aquarius there. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. All right. Give me one on that. Give me what is this between what's going on between this Queen of Wands and the Star Reverse? Okay. Okay, if you, okay, so, or this could be someone think, feeling this way about you. You want to see, it's like you for, you really want to see somebody fall from grace. Um, or somebody does for you. Uh, okay. Okay. What's going on here, honey? Yeah, Knight of Wands in reverse, Leo Sagittarius. Yeah, because you have secret desires for someone. Mm-hmm. Or this is something like you're trying to keep something hidden here. Um, you might have been sleeping with someone um, behind someone's back. Behind, I feel like a couple people's back. The Nine of Wands in reverse is someone who's in and out. They're a player or play it, whatever. They're lusty. They're non-committal. They um, could be quite... Uh, passive aggressive actually but they're really like community p community p right community d and community p if you know what i'm saying okay they're kind of for the streets honey no let's be you you're kind of like hoping that somebody here doesn't take the action to heal something so you can be with that person leo okay okay oh yeah ten of pentacles in reverse yep this is, like I said, Virgo energy. This is somebody who is very, very noncommittal. Very, very noncommittal. You may not wish to heal a connection. You may actually want to be single, but not for the right reasons. You want to be single, or another fire sign wants to be single that you're dealing with. Another Leo or Sagittarius specifically. Because you have secret desires, forbidden desires, or temptation that's kind of deep. 
for somebody you're coveting somebody else's wife if you're a masculine if you're a feminine you're coveting somebody else's husband basically okay you may not want to heal a connection because you're non-committal it's like somebody here who's already fucked up like already done wrong like cheated or whatever it's hoping that it stays hidden but simultaneously punishing a spouse to get them to leave so they don't look bad okay what is this about the mermaid the temptation the siren here okay Ooh -wee. yeah and the queen of wands in reverse and the knight of wands in reverse are not even at the same level this is like trying to mm -mm. Very non-committal. Very, very non-committal. Someone could also be hiding money. Or you're hoping that somebody else, if you're single and you're not in a relationship, you're hoping that somebody else ends a relationship or marriage so y'all can be together. If you are married and somebody else is married, you could be coveting another, like a friend or whatever, business partner, whatever. You could be coveting another man's wife. If you're a woman, you could be coveting, while also having a husband, coveting... Uh, another woman's husband okay well you know adultery is like a big thing right going deeper if very deep very deep temptation very deep desire falling for a siren okay what is this about yep indecision is a decision to a pinnacles in verse mm -hmm. that's indecisiveness you're deeply indecisive and it's like you or somebody else here is deeply indecisive because there's cheating Big time. Yeah, five of wands, competition, rivalry, drama, strife, comp games being played, dramatics. That is Leo card, Virgo here with the two of pentacles reverse. Mm -hmm. You're indecisive about what it is that you want. You want to, if you're a masculine or or a feminine, it's like you want somebody to fight for you. You want, you want two people to fight for you. If you're a Leo masculine, that's what you want. If you're a feminine Leo, that's what you want. Okay. But deeply knowing, well, see, look, spirit though, the divine is watching this. You see the face in the in the card there. Okay. Yo, honey, the magician in reverse trying to manipulate another person, Virgo Gemini, into a decision because you. This is not good, Leo. Mm mm. A lot of manipulation going on here bad okay it's not gonna work it's not gonna work nope be careful what you wish for be careful what you're playing with here show me the five of wands yep the moon in reverse cancer Pisces the truth the the manipulations coming to light it's gonna come out it could be coming out this week that's why there's a big argument here with you or another person not there's somebody here's not gonna fight for you but they're gonna fight with you about this bullshit here Mm hmm they probably already know it's not going to remain hidden if you're in a relationship they already know if you uh and the person that you're dealing with is also married their person already knows um okay no it's no that you don't you do not have the support of the divine here or your ancestors anymore leo maskins or feminine i'm not here to judge you i don't know who i'm reading for what i'm saying is if you think you've got spiritual backing you don't you don't have the divine with the star in reverse you don't have the ancestors with the ten of pentacles reverse you don't have the support of the universe or your talent skills and abilities mm -mm. you don't have that with magician reverse you're not gonna be able to manifest anything this way and the other person isn't going to be able to either. That is coming out. Okay. Whatever. Show me the moon reverse. Mm -hmm. Yep. Nine of swords in the reverse. If you. Okay. We got Gemini there. So signs we got is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Leo, Sagittarius, Aquarius, Virgo, 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 Gemini, Leo, Cancer, Pisces, and Gemini again. How many majors? Two, three. Three majors, all in reverse. 
they are not in your favor. Yours or somebody else's. If this is happening to you, it's not in their favor. So if someone's doing this to you, um, they don't feel no guilt about it. No guilty conscience. They sleep like a fucking baby at night if someone has done this to you. If you are doing this to somebody else and manipulating them and the other person's also in a relationship, yeah, it's going to be shown that you really did not give a single fuck when you did it. Okay. Okay. And the hangman in reverse, Pisces energy as well. You lack perspective. Pisces. Per, that's in, that is extreme lack of accountability. That is extreme um, not willing to make a sacrifice. That is doing things for the wrong reasons with no perspective and a lack of, again, accountability. Um, extreme selfishness as well. You lack, you were, I'm telling you. Mm -hmm. Four of Cups in the reverse. Cancer energy. There's something that's coming out. Ooh, boy. About with the Strength card in reverse. That is your card, Leo. That talks about somebody who has an ego that is not even justified. This talks about someone who can't tame their lust, their desires, their primal cardinal desires, who doesn't even try to deny it, who lets their ego trigger their emotions and that's how they operate with no consequence or no sense of consciousness or wrongdoing and feels quite entitled to do this another major okay well I mean but but will get real upset when they're found out that some people know people know and what's going to happen here, we have the, behind that was the death card in the reverse, Scorpio energy, with the will of fortune in the reverse, okay, Sagittarius energy, but also could be Leo, Taurus, uh, Scorpio, Aquarius. Let me tell you why, because someone is going to see that you have not changed, mm -mm. and, and there's, yeah, this is karma playing out. This is things not turning in your favor. Yeah. You're not in your power because you haven't changed. You're not willing to make the changes. Okay. Okay. You got a lot of majors here. Um, Leo. Well, let's count them one more time and I got to go, honey. All right. We got one. You do not have the backing from the divine. Mm -mm. Again, you do not have the backing you and that other person do not have the backing of the divine. Nope. You do not have the backing of your ancestors. Nope. Or even your actual family. You don't have the backing of the universe and your manifestations are falling through. The secrets are not coming out. You don't have backing by the universe or, or by the fates or karma. There's a lot of karma here. This is like somebody doing this and because they did it once, they keep doing it. And blaming the person that they're with and the other person or other people also blame their partners that they're with or husbands, wives, whatever your purposes are, right? Okay. Someone is very dramatic here. Five of Wands talks about dramatics and drama. That is a Leo card. Leo is a sign of the drama, but they can use it in a healthy way. They are the sign of attention. They are the sun, but this is a n real negative way to express that or to, yeah, bad. Okay. Someone does, this is like somebody who doesn't feel bad for hurting and cheating and betraying another person and even friends or family members, right? But they also don't want to be blamed for it. They did it. They didn't feel bad about it when they did it. They feel bad only when they get caught, but that's really a show, but they also don't want to be held accountable for it. Okay. How many majors again? So we got one, two, three. A lot of karma cards here, Leo. Um, this could have already happened in the past. It's coming it's coming back around to be dealt with. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cards. Mm -hmm. That is divinely orchestrated. That's the number of the divine. The divine is saying enough is enough already for you or for, for you know, if this happened to you, that's the message they're receiving. If you did this to someone 
with somebody else who also has someone. That is also you, both of y'all being addressed. If, if, if you don't believe in the divine retribution or vengeance, saith the Lord, vengeance be mine, saith the Lord, then you don't really believe in God. No offense to you. But it's coming. And it's not the people who've been betrayed. It's the divine basically giving you or somebody around you who's done this or, it, you know, a big pow pow, like a big smackdown like i call it being dragged or buddha bombed but that's what that is okay basically so it's like until the truth is known to all parties involved nothing will work okay or something like i don't know Ooh, okay yeah look telephone and the mermaid split Tim, that's the siren again communication falling for the hokey doke and then keeping it going okay Boy, oh boy, that's changing. Mm -hmm. Siren energy. That is like a dangerous temptation or obsession. Yeah. Someone might be telling you, well, I'll just call so-and-so or whatever, right? This is lucky that I don't come to your house kind of kind of communication. You know, I've got to put my foot down about some type of change here that's over gassing somebody up or being gassed up is over with the skull here somebody if okay if you're trying to fuck over scorpio that is the skull um they are highly protected right and they are getting a lot of information or they have a lot of information okay yeah there's a man who's about to contact with you or contact a scorpio and they because they can see it and they're gonna blow up your spot or something okay or you someone is coming to you to tell you what's going on okay somebody's watching where somebody's coming and going Ooh, okay i don't like it i gotta get out of that leo okay i'm done with that Ooh, too much honey too much that's a lot of drama for oof. no made my stomach drop for you not really for you if you're the one who's doing this but if it's happening to you i feel for you okay but if you're doing this, I don't feel for you. And, you know, if you're the one who's doing it, Leo, I'm not here to judge you. But I will say this. You're going to learn a very hard, hard, hard lesson. Ooh, we, ooh. There's just some people you can't fuck over. Okay. Ooh, we, okay. Oh, Virgo, what's up, honey? Five, two, uh, three, six. What's going on for you this week, honey? What is the overall energy for you? Or major events this week for you okay okay right, let's see what is going on please for Virgo Sun Moon rising and Venus placements this is uh, for your weekly messages overall what's either happening and or like an event or and or just the overall theme Oh, sorry. Please take what resonates. Leave the rest. If it's not your story, Virgo, don't try to make it fit. Obviously, you know, roles can be reverse. Or this could actually be somebody who just somebody around you is going through this, okay? Or something you hear about, so keep that in mind. Also, check out the intro for important information, okay? What is going on, please, for Virgo this week? What's the big events or, or okay? You got, okay, dragon guarding your treasures, okay? So you're protecting yourself. You're protecting what's important to you. Um, whatever's precious or your treasures to you, that could be friends, family, home, fur babies, children, your money as well. Okay. Beware of negative thoughts at the bottom though. I'm, am I taking that? Yeah. Beware of negative thoughts from the demon though. Okay. Be careful of greed or pride. This could be somebody around you. Okay. Someone may be telling you to guard your money and putting negative thoughts in your head. Or this could be you doing that to somebody else, okay? Or somebody's doing that to somebody around you, okay? Let's see, what is this about? What is this guarding your treasures about for my Virgos this week? Real quick, let's see. Give me a card on that. What is that about? Yeah, page of wands in reverse. Communications, that's Aries energy. That can talk about bad-mouthing another person. Aries could also maybe be Leo, but strong Aries though. This is like gar you're you are giving somebody this is like bad advice. Either you're receiving bad advice or giving bad advice about guarding one's treasures based on negative narrative. With the demon here, Capricorn energy, 
The guarding your treasures could be fire energy. So Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. What is this demon? Beware of negative thoughts. Through bad mouthing. Yo, yeah, six of wands in the upright. Leo energy. Somebody here is you or someone else, or this is happening to someone around you. Um, somebody here is um, has negative thoughts about somebody who gets a lot of attention, or somebody who's having a victory, who's being seen well, or has getting some type of recognition or accolades here. You could be quite jealous of someone, or someone's quite jealous of you, and there's a lot of bad mouthing here, or giving someone either someone's giving you this, or someone's giving a person this very, very bad advice on purpose and bad mouthing on purpose because of jealousy, putting neg negative a narrative or negative thoughts about a person in their own head and or about their relationship to someone else. Yeah. To try to sway someone's opinion or choice about a situation or a person. Okay. Whew. Ten of Swords reverse. Okay. Yeah. Something's about to end very badly because of that. Mm-hmm. Okay. Gemini energy there. That's a very painful ending due to a public betrayal. Whoa. Okay. This is like somebody going around putting negative thoughts in somebody in everybody else's head about their person or a friend or a business partner or a family member because they have betrayed them and in the event that that person they break up or the truth is revealed nobody would believe the person that's the target of a smear campaign but i feel like there's evidence of it though okay so if somebody's doing that to you you have all the the receipts to back it up if you are doing that to somebody else you have all or they have all the receipts to back it up if you're helping somebody do this, y'all both gonna regret that shit. I promise you. Okay? Okay. Protecting some form of gossip or bad mouthing or abusive communication. Mm hmm About another person. Okay. But that's what I got. I hope that helps you. So, I don't know where you're at in that. So, just be mindful of that, okay? Alright, let's see. Libra, last day of your season, honey. Happy birthday, many blessings to you now and forevermore. I really hope that you had a great birthday season to, because tomorrow is the first day of Scorpio season. But many blessings to you. Happy birthday. And I love you so much. All right. Let's see what's going on for you. Libra, sun, moon, rising, and Venus placements. Now, this could be a particular event. This could be just the overall theme for this week. So take what resonates. Leave the rest. If it's not your story, do not try to make it fit. Obviously, you know, roles can be reversed, okay? Let's see. What is going on, please, for Libra this week? What is going on for Libra this week, please? What is going on, please, for Libra this week? Um, definitely check out the intro, too. This could also be somebody around you who's going through this as well. Or somebody you know, possibly. Or you going through it. Or somebody around you is going through it because of you, okay? Or family, whatever. Let's see. What is it going for Libra? Check out the info of the intro for important information about giveaways and stuff, okay? You got the Grim Reaper ending and starting over. Um, Aries had this. Aries is your opposite sign. You could have been really affected, obviously, by that full moon in Aries. So there's an ending and a beginning here. Now, that could be the ending of a connection and it like or the ending of a cycle in a connection and the relationship actually starts restarts on a better footing and or... You could be ending something with a Scorpio. Scorpio is ending something with you. Or you're ending a relationship with somebody and starting over elsewhere. Or someone's ending with you and starting over elsewhere. Okay. There is an ending though. Whether it's within a relationship, friendship, family, family dynamic. Either the ending of a cycle or just completely is done. Okay. Might want to watch Aries. That might be important for you. Okay, what's that about? Yeah, two of wands. Someone's making the choice, Aries energy, again, to end something. Someone's been at a crossroads for quite some time. Something's coming to an end. Okay. We got Aries there. Maybe Leo. Or that could also be Scorpio because it is the crossroads. Someone's making that choice to end something this week. Four of Pentacles. Yeah, someone made the decision to um, hold back from another person one too many times. No. Nope. That could be Capricorn, uh, Virgo maybe, and it's over. Someone's ending something, or someone's going to stop holding back from the top. Ooh, why the Seven of Swords? 
Ooh, lying, selling, and cheating. Someone has been made the choice to hold back from another person to be miserly or greedy. Why? Because they were lying and cheating. And they thought that's Libra Aquarius energy. Somebody thought they were going to get away with it. That is coming to an end this week. Whatever is happening here, someone's been holding back the truth, holding back the lie, not telling somebody the truth. That's coming to an end. All the all everything's gonna be exposed, okay? Give me one on the seven of swords. Okay. Yeah, six of pentacles in the upright. Someone was lying about who they were giving to, equal give and take as well. Someone someone was giving cheating, lying and stealing, possibly even money or and or inheritance from some, maybe someone's passing, maybe even to keep for themselves. If it's financial, to be greedy and miserly, selfish. Someone might have stole somebody's inheritance or money. Um, also, too, uh, side message, um, if this is about a relationship here, somebody, it, there's an ending to both parties because somebody here has been cheating and giving to both parties. Yep, we got Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Libra with the scales. Someone as being weighed against the feather, the heart is being weighed against the feather of truth and is being found wanting. So somebody is not in good standings with karma. Mm-mm. Nope, and that's what I got for you. I hope that helps you. I don't know where you're at in that. Okay, let's see. All right, Scorpio. What's up, gang gang? Hello. Um, this tomorrow starts your birthday season, honey. I hope you're doing well. Let's see what we got going on for you this week. The main event and or main theme for you overall for this week. Scorpio Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. Take what resonates. Leave the rest. It's not your story. Do not try to make it fit. Obviously, roles can be reversed, or this is somebody around you, or your person, or whatever the situation is that's going through this, or you're hearing about this. Also, um, yeah, check out the intro um, for important giveaway information. Okay, that's okay. What's going on? Okay, we got frog change. Leap ahead in money, and you got you also got Grim Reaper ending and starting over. This came out for you, Libra and Aries. Okay, you got money coming in for a leap ahead this week. You're changing, you're moving forward. Either you're ending something within yourself, meaning like a pattern of behaviors, of feelings, whatever, right? A change is coming that's going to, it's involving money that gives you a leap ahead. Either you're ending a pattern of behavior within yourself or it's, there's an ending between you and another person with regarding the cycles within the dynamic or business partnership, friendship or relationship and or marriage. And there's a better starting over in a better way and, or you're ending something completely. And it does look like it might be you. Look, stand apart. You stand apart. Okay. And that was at the bottom. Okay. All right. Obviously, worlds can reverse, but there's money coming in. Uh, there could be something about inheritance coming your way as well. You got some type of change. It's a big leap ahead regarding finances. Okay. Okay. What's the frog about for you this week? Four of Pentacles in reverse and Judgment in reverse. Okay. This is um, be careful of loss of finances here, or you're letting go of something because. Um, you don't want to be judged for it or somebody Sagittarius Scorpio there too with the four of, with the judgment card reverse this is letting go of something if somebody's trying to get you to let go of a job or the way or money or whatever don't do that that would be a bad idea on your part mm -hmm. you might be letting go of something and choosing not to resurrect something okay because of somebody's bad decision making Okay. Or you're letting go of someone who might be very greedy. Someone's... There's a wake-up call regarding finances coming this week as well. Okay. Okay. We got the King of Pentacles reverse. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is somebody who's very corrupt. You could be letting go or somebody around you is letting go of somebody who is very financially, morally, ethically uh, bankrupt and corrupt. They make very bad decisions. Sagittarius Scorpio there, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and we got the, uh, okay, four pentacles reverse. If somebody, okay, here's the deal too. If somebody here is letting you go because of th these reasons, not saying it's you, it could be you though. Keep that in mind. It could be you doing this. 
Um, if, if, if someone's letting you go because of their own selfishness or jealousy, they're going to regret that choice. The moment you're no longer around this person, whomever this is, that's when your money, your leap ahead, the big change for you comes in. Big transformation comes in for you. If vice versa, roles can be reversed. could be somebody else going through that, okay? Somebody might have let go of a, uh, Earth sign because they make bad judgments. Someone, mm -mm. or somebody who's not stable. They're not stable. No, somebody, okay. Why is that King of Pentacles in reverse? They're not stable. They may not be loyal either. Six of Cups in the reverse. Oof. There's not mutual love between the two of you. This person does not care about you. If you're let, okay. Yeah. Someone also could have made a very bad decision in the past. There's not, like, if this is the case, somebody here can't move on from this. Whatever bad decision that they've made or you won't be able to once you find out, okay? Somebody also is not over, okay, you or somebody else. Somebody here is not over an ex from the past. Baby mama, baby daddy, whatever the case may be. Yeah, it's a, they made a very bad decision in the past. Um, Could be six to seven, okay. They're saying no more than seven years ago. Seven years or less. Okay. All right. What is this ending Grim Reaper about? Ending is starting over. Okay. Ooh. Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, that's very instability. That's very unstable. That's very impulsive, reckless. That's also very disloyal. Taurus energy. Okay. Yep. Two of Wands in reverse. Somebody, you know, letting something go, letting someone go. Okay. Because of disloyalty here inconsistencies as well oh, yeah hey man in the reverse pisces energy somebody want does not want to be held accountable for this aries here can maybe leo pisces here somebody doesn't want to have perspective about a situation they don't care okay very selfish or very they don't want to make any more sacrifices okay that came out for leo the hangman reverse and the eight of swords in the upright okay stuck you know this to be true, that somebody really doesn't want to be faced with accountability for what they've done in the past, okay? And the emperor in reverse? No, this is all egoic. Someone's got a bad, bad ego. This is bit someone who could be very manipulative, a player, um, judgmental, disrespectful. This could be someone who's very uh, oppressive or like a tyrant. Aries on Taurus Leo here. They're very um, self-righteous or egoic. They don't want to be held accountable. This is somebody who will blame you for everything. They don't take any form of accountability whatsoever. And they're very selfish. Very, very selfish. Okay. You or someone else. Or so this could be somebody who's going through this that you may know or don't know or you hear about it. So keep that in mind. But that's what I got, honey. But whenever, if you are the one who's letting this go, because I do have your card out here. Someone's also been trying to end your money shit for you or your ability to make money because it feeds their ego. It makes them feel powerful. If you were to let this go, if this is you who has to let something go, you get big blessings for that. This person gets, you're somebody's um, good luck charm. You are, but you've been holding back someone else's karma because you're in the way. It's not meant for you to perceive that. You have your own karma, right? But whomever's karma this is, is pretty sin it feels pretty significant. Stand apart. They're saying stand apart from this situation. I'm not saying you should do it or not. I'm just saying what it says. Or cross watcher. I don't know. Whomever's done whatever, right? Life altering events behind that. Stand apart. Life altering events. You predicted this. You were right. Or somebody predicted this for you. They were right. Okay. But that's what I got. I hope that helps you. Okay. Wow. All right. Sagittarius. One. Am I still having to do with the collective? reading spirit they said one card okay just one card okay all right sagittarius 108 because i got somewhere i gotta go all right let's see sagittarius sun moon rising venus um placements this is your weekly message this could be um a overall theme for the week and or a very specific event of the week so please you know take what resonates leave the rest not your story don't try to make it fit obviously roles can be reversed and or this could be something that somebody else is going through um, that you may know and you hear about it, okay? Or somebody that your person knows, if that's the case. Fan, a friend, family member, colleague, coworker, what have you, okay? What is going on, please? Also, check out the intro for important giveaway information as well. What's going on, please?
Pegasus, making fantasies a reality. You or somebody else here is taking a leap here, take flight possibly to make a fantasy a reality. Okay. But it's a secret, keeping secrets. Someone has, someone's making a fantasy a reality in secret. Okay, whatever that means, um, Sagittarius. Okay. Someone has been keeping secrets from you or you're keeping secrets from someone. Okay. What's this making, let me see, let me take that. What's the secrets about? Okay. Show me um, making fantasies a reality. Okay. That is a horse there. Queen of Wands, that's you. This came out for Leo, but in the reverse. Okay. Well, you look good. You are like everybody's fantasy. Aries, <laughs> Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. That is very much you, right? You're making fantasies a reality, but you're also keeping secrets or someone is doing that towards you. Very attractive woman here. This could be you. This could be somebody else. Okay. Okay. One more. But with a Knight of Swords in the reverse, not being honest about it with key. Mm -mm. This can talk about not telling the truth. Aquarius energy or somebody here is not telling you the truth. Why they, there's no desire. Okay. This can talk about um, low blows hitting way below the belt on purpose. Okay. Aquarius, Libra energy. Someone doesn't want to talk about it. You're not opening up about something or somebody else is not opening up about a situation or someone is not fighting for this connection because they are keeping secrets they have something else going on what's this keeping secrets about for sagittarius yeah six of wands leo energy uh, because the secret someone's keeping secrets because they're getting attention elsewhere or you are okay all right yep three of swords in the reverse that's why somebody here doesn't want to forgive you because they're keeping secrets they're betraying you or they have been betraying you Okay, it might come out publicly. Yep, and it's going to cause a breakup. Okay, we got Gemini, Leo, Aquarius, Libra, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, right? With the Two of Cups, that's Cancer, but also Leo, Scorpio. It's going to cause massive breakups. Okay. Okay, this week. Why? Because somebody else has new love, possibly with a Leo. Mm-hmm. Ace of Cups, Strength card. Yep. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Leo. Yep, that's why. In order for them to be, in order for you or somebody else to be with someone else, they have to, yeah. If you're dealing, it, okay. Somebody here is having a love affair with a Leo. I don't know if it's you or your person. What's that King of Swords, or excuse me, Knight of Swords in reverse? Yeah, three of cups lying up you got a friend that's lying to you sagittarius cancer price is scorpio mm -hmm. the reason why somebody here isn't fighting for a reconciliation is because they're fucking a leo or you are okay mm -hmm. three of cups three of swords i'm telling you right now six of wands leo two of cups reverse cancer leo scorpio leo with the strength card in the upright and the ace of cups in the upright yep goes from three to two in reverse to the ace of cups new love you yep. show me uh tell me more about the knight of swords in reverse from the top king of wands you're married you're married three of cups so you if you're a masculine sagittarius you want to reconcile with someone but the reason why somebody doesn't want to reconcile with you is because they're fucking a leo okay if you are a feminine sagittarius right there's a man who wants to be with you okay If you are masculine, yeah, and it's a and it's a Leo, but you gotta be done with uh, somebody else. It could be a water sign. You gotta be done with. If you're a masculine Sagittarius, though, you your friend, you can't trust your friend with around your person or when you're out of town. Mm -mm. Nope. Eight of Pentacles. Y'all also may work together. Third parties at work, or they have a third party at work, or you do, or. Sagittarius, if you're a woman, it could be Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus placements. There's third parties at work. And if you're married, your husband knows with the Leo. Oh, yeah. Yep. Oh, boy. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But that's what I got. I hope that helps you <laughs> figure that out. All right. Capricorn, what's up, honey? 114. Uh, 20. All right, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus placements. This is your weekly reading. Could be a um, overall theme and or it could be a specific event that's happening this week. Take what resonates, leave the rest if it's not your story. 
please do not try to make it fit. Obviously, you know, roles can be reversed. Um, it could also be somebody that you know who's going through this, okay? Also, don't forget to check out the intro for important giveaway information. Tell me more, please, for Capricorn. Okay, you have power, exert your influence, focus, energy, intention. So you have a lot of power of influence over a situation or person or somebody else does and you're giving them that power. But what is your intentions of having this power, okay? Well, at the bottom, we got evil eye, protection, spirits, and guidance. Be careful if, about if you're giving power to evil eye against another person um, that it doesn't come back to bite you. And or be careful, cross watcher, if you're doing that to a Capricorn because it's going to come back to bite. Why? What is this influence? Exert your influence, focus, energy, and intention. Wishing that. Woo, yeah, see, that's the backfire. That's the backfire. That's a return to sender here or just the backfire. Eight of Wands reverse Sagittarius. Be careful what you put out there, Capricorn or cross watcher, because it is coming back. <laughs> uh -uh. This is this is the backfire in a very big way here, Capricorn or cross watcher. Very big. Oh, yeah, and it's going to hit, yep, it's going to hit your love life, cause unrequited love in your love life if that's what you're wishing for another person. Sagittarius, um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, yep, mm-hmm, King of Wands in reverse, Leo energy, very, mm-mm, yep, you're trying to destroy somebody else's relationship here and get them rejected or get them to reject somebody else because you think that they shouldn't be together or somebody's doing that to you. It's not going to go well. It's, woo, listen, it's going to come back and it's going to be a backfire for somebody here really hella fast. Really hella fast. If it hasn't already started happening, it's about to come back with full force this week. Capricorn and or Cross Watcher. That's what I got for you. I hope that helps you, okay? Next is Aquarius. What's up, Aquarius? Let's see what's going on for you this week. Two. All right, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, um, Venus, Placements. This is your weekly message. It could be um, an overall theme and or it could be a very specific event that's happening this week. Um, you know, please take what resonates. Leave the rest. If it's not your story, do not try to make it fit. Obviously, you know, roles can be reversed. Um, definitely check out the intro for important giveaway um, information and other stuff like that as well. It's also time stamped. All right, this could also be your person. It could be you. Obviously, like I said, roles can be reversed, but it can also be something that somebody else is going through and you find out about it. What's going on for, for Aquarius this week, please? Okay, okay. you got spotlight, or you got sunflower, spotlight, happiness, and success. That is also very Sagittarius and or Leo energy because of the sun. Something's coming to light. Something makes you very happy. Maybe you're in the spotlight, in the public eye. It's making you happy. There's success here or something's being shown. Go watch um, Leo and Sagittarius reading. Okay, what is this about? Sunflower, real quick. What is this about? Okay, okay. Mm -mm. Change. Leap ahead in money. And then we got jack o lantern Seekers, Hidden and Unclear. So you or somebody else here... Um, we got frog energy, which can be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Also, very strong Scorpio because that's transformation because the tadpole becomes the frog. Um, with Jacqueline here, there's secrets here. Someone's hiding some money that's coming to light. A Leo and or a Sagittarius is, okay? Or a or Scorpio. Um, there's a lot of secrets here between you and another person. And you got Creepy Clown, Old Fears, Defense, and Courage. Whatever's about to happen behind that is the alien. Expect the unexpected. You don't see whatever this backfire is potentially towards you or towards somebody else. It, they don't see it coming or you don't. Okay. What is this spotlight about? Something's being shown very clearly. Mm -hmm. What is this about? Sunflower, please. Yep. Seven of Wands in reverse Leo energy. Whatever's being seen, there is no defense for it. There is somebody here does not stand on their convictions. Somebody here does not stand on business. They don't believe their own bullshit that they come out of their mouth and they know it. Mm -hmm. This is somebody who doesn't stand in the strength of their convictions. Point blank period. Right? There's no defense for this. Right? Whatever's about to come to light. Someone can't stop this from happening. Okay. Eight of Cups in reverse. Somebody also be, could be going back to another person defenseless. Or somebody feels powerless because, okay. Eight of Cups can talk about Pisces, Leo there. Um, somebody here feels defenseless for whatever's going to happen. Somebody here doesn't want somebody to walk away or they don't want to walk away or you, whomever this is, because they can't, they can't protect themselves from the truth coming out. That's why. That's the only reason why. Okay. 
What is the frog about? Change, leap ahead, and money. Okay. Eight of Wands, fast movement forward. Aquarius, I'm not, well, Aquarius, this is, I said it, but this can be Sagittarius. This passionate communication about money. There's a leap ahead. There's fast movement. There could be travel as well. Um, there's a big change coming on the, this could also be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but very strong water, very strong Scorpio energy, fast communication coming in. That's going to change everything. Massive leap ahead. Okay. Eight of, we've got two eights now. Okay. This is like karma playing out. Six of cups in the reverse and the ace of wands in the upright. So we got Scorpio here. Communication about the past. Somebody's not over somebody from the past. And with the Ace of Wands, they are having sex with somebody from the past. Or they did. Or they were sexting, nudes, whatever. Dick pics and whatever, right? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius to somebody from the past. Mm -hmm. Someone might have a porn addiction or a sex addiction possibly, Aquarius, or you do. Someone never got over the past. Someone still has a, you know, a, somebody still wants somebody sexually from the past, okay? What's this? Well, okay. Someone's been sending money to somebody. Wire transfers as well to someone from the past. Okay. Something happened six years ago, six months ago, six weeks ago. Oh, shit, it could be even six days ago. Okay. Somebody, somebody's been traveling with somebody from the past. I don't know. Or it could be seven years or less. Okay. What is the secrets and hidden unclear here? The emperor is a father figure. This could uh, who the daddy is is what I just heard. Who's the daddy? Or who's your daddy? I don't know. It could be a boss figure as well. Someone could be sleeping with a boss. Or okay. We've got Aries. We also got um Aries, Taurus, or Leo there. Somebody who wants to be in control. Ooh, two of swords in the reverse, right? Gemini Libra. There's a masculine here who's getting exposed with the sun. All their lies are being exposed and brought to the surface. Leo energy. There's no hiding it now. There's no getting away from it now. Whatever was hidden is coming to the surface and is being revealed. There, there is a masculine here. Whomever this is, could be you, could be somebody else. Lie. All their lies are getting exposed. Okay. What's the sun card about? Page of Cups. About a, a child that could have been born in Cancer Leo season. The lies about a child and who the father of a child is. It could be a boy child, a son child. Okay. That's coming to light. Mm. Mm -hmm. Cancer Pisces here. The Sun card Leo. Um, yeah. Or somebody here. Yeah. Gemini Libra there as well. Someone could also been sleeping with somebody's friend or fake friend. Or that's you. Or somebody's husband or somebody's wife. Oh, shit. Mm, judgment Sagittarius Scorpio a final decision will be made it will be made there's a massive rude awakening wake up call here okay yep eight of swords in reverse judgment and eight of swords in reverse Aquarius Sagittarius Scorpio there will be public judgment there's evidence there's proof there's documentation to back it up okay someone did plant a seed they dropped a seed if you know what I'm saying mm-hmm because they were arguing with somebody here. Someone's pregnant. Oh, yeah. Okay. And there's been a secret that's been going on for a little while now. Okay. There's proof and evidence that this is true. Okay. Someone cannot defend this from it coming to light. Okay. Or you can't. Or somebody you know can't. Okay. Okay. That's what I got for you. Last but never least is Pisces, honey. One, two, three, two, six. I got to go, honey. All right. Pisces, sun, moon, rising, Venus placements. This is your weekly message. This could be a message about um, an overall theme and or, hold on one second, I need to set a very specific event, okay? Please, you know, take what resonates, leave the rest if it's not your story, honey. Don't try to make it fit. Obviously, you know, the roles can be reversed, okay? What else? Let's see. Also, check out me in, my intro. Um, it's time stamped, obviously. You will get... Um, uh, important information about giveaways and stuff like that. Okay, there. All right. And don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, obviously. All right, what is going on, please, for Pisces this week, honey? Pisces, show me. You came up for, I know you came up for Leo, um, but somebody else, too. Maybe it was even uh, Scorpio, I think. Okay. What's going on, please, for Pisces this week? Okay. You have the crystal ball, clarity, omens, and visions. 
you have clarity about something you could be into divination you could be scrying crystal ball black mirror scrying any form of scrying but you're about to get clarity here you were warned about something maybe you have a vision this week that maybe you should really pay attention to yeah overwhelmed drama and anxiety it's going to cause a lot of drama here there's something that you know you know okay or there's something that you're seeing in a dream of reading you're getting a reading could be this reading doesn't have to be you're having some type of vision in it it's really a warning about future what's this um clarity about first of all you can see something very clear okay or somebody else can see something very clear about you and it's causing a lot of drama and anxiety for you or for somebody else yeah ace of wands in reverse aries leo sagittarius you're getting clarity about why somebody is rejecting you either sexually or somebody else is getting clarity about you rejecting them sexually which i'm not saying anybody else is um has to accept another person right aries leo sagittarius here you could be a mask and pisces getting rejected by someone that you are in a long-term relationship with or something okay or somebody else is doing that to you or you doing that to someone i don't know this is a pivot somebody's about to be rejected yep from the past six of cups or someone's being rejected for somebody from the past um scorpio here you could be rejecting someone or some okay you could be rejecting someone because you want to be with somebody from the past or somebody is rejecting somebody because they're still in love with somebody from the past okay and we got the seven of pentacles in the reverse okay all right somebody's someone doesn't want to reap what they've sown about loss of time or investment here with someone from the past either you're getting clarity why or you're giving clarity why okay virgo energy somebody could reject you from some rejecting you for someone that they're still in love with okay since they've known a long time and they're no longer going to be investing in this okay that could be very much pissing you off or it's pissing some pissing you off or you're pissing someone else off okay why someone's make that's the final decision someone's no longer at a crossroads they made their choice six of cups five of swords in reverse they're not going to fight the love that they have with somebody they're done with the mind games they're done with the conflict or you are okay they want to make peace with somebody from the past okay or you do um seven of pentacles oh judgment in reverse yes yeah, somebody's getting karma for meddling in somebody else's relationship that could be you or that could be somebody else it could be your person or somebody on the periphery here someone made a bad bad investment bad decision mm -hmm. and they're getting karma for that for meddling or something like that causing chaos when it yeah look eight of swords in the upright somebody knows that this is coming aquarius energy and the hierophant in reverse for trying to break up a connection that was meant to okay taurus energy you could also be getting this karma or somebody around you that you're connected to is somebody knows why is what i heard mm. whatever this divine court higher court does not go in your favor or it doesn't go in if you are the third party it doesn't go in your favor if your person is has a third party it doesn't go in their favor if you have a third party it doesn't go in your favor period taurus okay energy yep two of swords one foot in one foot out riding the fence gemini libra divided loyalties here three of swords overkill go from the two of swords to the three of swords someone's blocking out some form of betrayal someone's also choosing to um you know block this out or you are there could be a separation that's about to take place too as well because you find out something what is that three of swords about overkill Woo. the emperor in the reverse this is a masculine here could be a husband figure who's very much unfaithful they're they're cruel they could be quite oppressive or you don't know this is somebody who only thinks of themselves they're very selfish tyrannical they're manipulator they could even be maybe even abusive possibly okay yeah and they breadcrumb page of pentacles reverse virgo energy we got aries taurus leo there or there's a man who's leaving because they're sick and tired of being breadcrumbed or you are something like that okay but somebody here is about to root what they've sown big time big time okay all right or pisces if you're dealing with a woman or man that's done this to you you're out of there and you're gonna spill the tea basically okay 
And that is what I got for all the signs. Let's go to the potential T for all 12 signs that could be going on this week. One, two, nine, three, seven. Okay. Spirit, please give me the T from for all 12 zodiac signs from Aries to Pisces. One card each from T that they may need to know. T, now, this could be T for all the signs that each one of the signs could be actually doing or involved in, but and know that they're involved or not involved but don't know that they're involved in rt that's going on around them so again take what resonates leave the rest okay give me one card of the t please for the um all 12 zodiac signs from aries to pisces Ooh. in that order please from aries to pisces in that order please thank you spirit all right here we go and thank you divine all right so aries the t that you may need to know or somebody else needs to know about you is what confused somebody doesn't know which way that they want to go someone's confused about which path to take there's a reason for that what should, okay one more why and they're ignoring you okay or you are ignoring them because you're confused okay if you're dealing with or, or Taurus you the tea about you or about somebody around you is what photo proof giving getting evidence somebody here around you or you have photo proof of some bullshit are you getting that evidence this week? Okay. Or you're giving it this week? Okay. Um, Gemini, yours is clout hungry. Says anything, does anything, makes shit up and dramatic. Either this is about you or this is about somebody around you or somebody who's targeting your connection or friendship, family dynamic, whatever for clout. Okay. Um, cancer, you have grudge holder. So you or somebody else is holding a grudge or there's a man who's holding a hell of a fucking grudge here, Cancer. Or you're doing that. And you're feeding it. You're helping somebody because of a grudge. Okay. Or you're holding a... Why are you holding a grudge for it? Yeah, move in silence. You are holding a grudge and you're moving in silence. I don't like that. Okay. All right. That's for you, Cancer. Or somebody around you is doing that. Okay. Um, Leo, you got spiritual hater. Hates your spirituality, light, magic, and power. That could be you. Or that could be somebody around you. Somebody is a spiritual hater. Okay. Why? rejected there is okay there's a spiritual hater hates on your spirituality light magic and power because they got rejected you you are a spiritual hater because you got rejected or somebody around you or you could be a person or somebody around the both of y'all because they got rejected they're a spiritual hater okay okay whatever that okay all right um virgo you've got kissing ass and third ooh, love triangle third party multiple lovers and choices so somebody here is kissing ass Someone's kissing your ass or you're kissing someone's ass that because you're in a third party, okay? Um, either you got caught in a third party or your person got caught in a third party and now they're kissing your ass. Or somebody here is literally kissing a third party's ass, okay? Somebody is. Okay. Okay, Virgo. All right, uh, Libra, you got a happiness hater and thief. Okay, so either you are you are hating on somebody's happiness and they got married and you didn't. And or there's a happiness hater around you or your person and we got thief robbed lost death physical or emotional somebody here wants to steal somebody's marriage partner whether it's a wife or a husband that could be you could be somebody could be a person or somebody around you or somebody around your person there's an outside person is a happiness hater or you could be that person or your person could be they feel robbed of happiness here because somebody here wants to interfere in somebody else's marriage okay okay Libra Scorpio we got shine your light irritates their demons and always partying. So there's somebody who's always like an alcoholic, a drunk, a partier. They don't have their shit together. They, your light, how how much you shine, irritates the fuck out of somebody's demons, or that is happening to you. Somebody's somebody's light is irritating your um, addictive, toxic, controlling demons, or your light is attacking or irritating or stirring up somebody else's addictive um, demons. Or demon of addiction here um also too there's somebody here who drinks a lot more or is drinking a lot more or drinks more when you shine but fuck it don't play small for nobody uh scorpio or cross watcher keep shining that's their fucking problem don't play small for no no low budget clown ass asshole or bitch period okay sagittarius you have ooh, wolves and sheep's clothing and travel oh my god okay Okay, so, whew, all right, so wolves and sheep clothing and Sagittarius and travel. So, I don't know, honey, if you're traveling, be careful who you're traveling with or traveling to meet. There are wolves and sheep's clothing 
or this could be you this could be a person or somebody you're possibly traveling with they are not who they claim to be they're a whole ass fucking wolf they're pretending and lying don't travel with this person okay something mm -mm. or they shouldn't travel with you or something like that okay something's being hidden about some type of travel or someone's i don't know saying they're coming i don't know whatever that's about okay one more on that cause I, yeah marry for money some be careful somebody wants to marry you for money or you want to marry somebody for money i don't know okay i'm not saying it's you or somebody around y'all okay all right capricorn we got forcer forces things on you forces their way in uses force to get what they want and hustling making it rain focus on money getting it someone's trying to force you to give them money or some someone's trying to force you to give away your money be careful of somebody like a break-in as well possibly be careful of that or this is you trying to force somebody to give you money okay i don't know it feels like someone's extorting another person okay all right aquarius you got moving on thank you next and looking you up researching you studying you getting info so somebody's getting information about you moving on or someone's trying to get information about you moving on who you're moving on to or you are doing this you're trying to get information on somebody or someone's trying to get information on you or your person um something about travel plans is what i just heard we'll look at sagittarius maybe okay pisces you got ghosted disappearing ghosting in and out and you got tripping on you so somebody here's playing games with you they're they're in and out one minute they ghost you one minute they want to be with you one minute you ghost them one minute you want to be with them or this is what's happening on the outside about your connection what's being okay what is that about real quick for the tea played out it's played out it's way too much something someone plays way too many games way too much okay that's the team all right Whew, that was a lot of breath all right let's get love messages please for all 12 signs what you need to know directly in love all right let's see 1 36 uh 23 here we go all right all right, let's see. Show me all 12 signs from Aries to Pisces. What do they need to know about love? This could be uh, what each of the signs need to know about love um, regarding their partner, um, what's going on in their relationship, and or what their partner's doing or what each of the zodiac sign is doing, okay? Or all could be what's being hidden or what to avoid. Show me all 12 signs, what's going on in their love life, um, either them or the partner, does not matter um from aries to pisces in that order of spirit thank you all right here we go here we go thank you spirit and the divine all right so aries what you need to know is friendship be mindful of your friendships okay there's something about a friendship going on about your relationship or some i don't know somebody here is sleeping with somebody's friend your friend or you are sleeping with your partner's friend or something about your friendships or that's something you might need to focus on okay all right um taurus you got new there's something about a new perspective that you need to get or somebody else around you regarding a situation gemini you got apology regarding your love relationship there's something somebody needs to apologize for something or you do um cancer third person either you're a third party have a third party or your person does third person third will okay third party interference here either you are interfering in someone else's relationship somebody else is interfering in yours either you are a third party have a third party or your person is a third party or has a third party okay all right that's cancer leo single maybe you want to be single or somebody else wants to be single one more than that yeah regret somebody regrets not being single or you do or if you want to be single you're going to end up regretting it or if somebody else wants to be single they're going to end up regretting it okay at the end of the day okay all right um virgo you've got thinking about you someone is thinking about you or you're constantly thinking about somebody but you have mixed emotions about it or they do okay somebody does mixed emotions about what somebody thinks about them okay libra you got affection you're giving affection to somebody else or somebody is giving affection to you there's somebody who wants to give a lot of affection to another person you libra or maybe someone wants to give you affection or you want to give someone else affection or there's somebody here who's getting a lot of affection it may not be you or your person scorpio devoted you're very devoted or somebody else is very devoted to you yeah clarity about devotion you're getting you're devoted to the truth you or somebody else here is very devoted to the truth or something that's one person is devoted and one person needs to give clarity but there's you're devoted to getting the truth or devoted to clarity or someone's very devoted to giving you that clarity or the clarity is that you're very devoted or your person is so keep that in mind okay or but i get more so you're devoted to the truth or somebody is okay sagittarius you got this relationship is unrequited between you and another person 
Okay. Uh, Capricorn, you got it's not over between you and somebody, or somebody here never got over somebody from the past, or you didn't. Okay. Ca uh, Aquarius, you got message sent. Someone's sending you a message, or you are sending someone a message to say something, which is you're sending a message to somebody who's in a relationship, or you are in a relationship and talking to somebody who you shouldn't be. Or there's two people in a relationship, and Y'all are talking a lot. Okay. A lot of text messages. Okay. Or there's somebody here who is cheating, possibly. Or you are sending a message to somebody about their relationship or vice versa. Okay. Okay. Aquarius. Or you're talking to some. Okay. Or you're in a relationship talking to somebody else. Okay. Aquarius. All right. Pisces. You got jealous. You or somebody else here is hella fucking jealous. Okay. Why? Wish. Someone's jealous because somebody else is getting their wish fulfillment here or getting what they want or you are. Okay. Jealous of somebody's wish fulfillment, okay? Or this could be you, your person, or there's other people on the outside that's jealous of that, okay? All right, there we go. All right, let's get one card of money. I'm not going to do the collective. I don't have time. I got shit. I got I got somewhere I got to be. All right, let's see. Money message. I'm sorry, Spirit, but I'll have to do that. I'll do a collective at some other time, maybe tomorrow or something. All right, money messages for all uh, 12 signs. Quick money message. What's going on in their uh, finances from all 12 zodiac signs for their money this week? From Aries to Pisces, money. What's going on with their money this week, please? Okay, here we go. Thank you. And then we'll do zodiac signs and then guidance. We'll be out of here. All right. Aries. Thank you, Spirit. You got anchor, money blocks, being stuck, financially sound, okay? You need to something you need to focus on getting stable, okay? There's something that is coming up about this blocking your money right now. That's something that needs to be focused on or something about a boat, okay? All right, Taurus, you've got mass, secret stash, save, save pennies, finding money, theft. Someone could be stealing your secret stash of money, so you might need to find a better way to hide it, okay? Or that could be you, I don't know. Gemini, you've got Buddha, life purpose, more than money, spiritual wealth. You could be trying to get on your divine path. You will get, if you're following your life purpose, the money will come eventually, okay? There's a lot of spiritual wealth here, okay? Uh, cancer, you got ring, financial commitments, long-term investments, partnership, work together, fulfilling career. So, I don't know, you could have a work wife, work husband, or that is you. Be careful of, um, infidelity in the workplace, possibly is what I heard. It could fuck up your money. Or a cross-watcher, dealing with cancer. Okay, or you want, or you want to marry cancer somebody for money. Okay, Leo, butterfly, sudden change, frivolous spending, short-term loan career arts movement temp jobs and phone work so there's something that's transforming in your finances here um it's a good change but it will be short term be careful of overspending um you might have more fun doing a job that you actually love regarding art or travel all right that's leo uh, virgo you got tree financial growth coming to fruition abundance career outdoor jobs family business and stability so there's a okay I'm not telling you what to do but if you do stick with a family business it will grow okay um, if that's your decision, Libra, you've got candle, ambition, taking action, hustle, man you're manifesting money. You could be doing candle magic for money. You're going to get a promotion possibly into management as well. Okay. Um, Scorpio, you've got wings, rising above money issues, business taking off, profit, okay, career, spiritual work, life purpose, and mission. You are on point you're in your life purpose. You could be a spiritual worker, tarot reader, psychic, psychic medium, spiritualist of some kind. You're rising above the money issues. Business will be taking off. You will be turning a big profit or something big coming in. Okay. Was it Scorpio? Sagittarius. You got crown. Overcoming financial obstacles. Power playing wealth. You're the owner of a business. You're taking charge and making progress. Good job, honey. Okay. Whoever you are. All right. Capricorn. You got gift. Giving and receiving. Sudden windfall. Generosity. You're getting, uh, so you're giving, maybe you're getting gifted a, some type of money or you're gifting it to someone. Or maybe even a, a, a vacation work surprise. Okay. Aquarius, you've got seal, business contracts, documents, gifts of money, writing, clerical, paperwork, and staying put. So be careful. Um, if you are, this is some type of legalities, a contract here, make sure you have an attorney that reviews it because you're getting some type of big deal that's going to bring you a lot of money. But you need to have an attorney that looks at it. Okay. All right. Pisces, you've got moon, fleeting funds, unknown source, being guided, career, moonlighting, odd jobs, night shift, part time. So you might be picking a part time job because you need to make the money. Or supplement and some type of income here, Pisces, okay? Or somebody around you is, okay? Whew, I'm out of breath. All right, let's go. Zodiac signs you could be dealing with, but not limited to, all right? Uh, one, four, four, oh, six, and I'll do guidance, okay? All right, show me. All right, you can get a good shuffle, and we'll go. 
Ooh, this is fast. I got somewhere I gotta be, honey. I'm gonna be late. All right, here we go. All right, let's see. All right, Aries, who could this, who is the, obviously, don't get stuck on the sign, but let's just see what comes out. Who could Aries be dealing with this week? A Taurus, maybe? Okay. What about Taurus? Who are you potentially dealing with this week, honey? Cancer. Okay. Um, Gemini, who are you potentially dealing with this week? Gemini, who are you potentially dealing with this week? Virgo. Okay. All right. Um, what's that? Gemini. Cancer, who are you potentially dealing with this week? Okay, Cancer, you're dealing with yourself or another Cancer and a Taurus. Cancer. <laughs> All right. Uh, Leo, you could be dealing with a Taurus as well. Okay. All right. Virgo, who are you potentially dealing with this week? Um, Virgo, you could be dealing with an Aquarius. Okay. Ouch. Libra, who are you potentially dealing with this week? Libra, your opposite sign, Aries. Okay. Scorpio, who are you potentially dealing with this week? You're dealing with a Leo. Okay. Um, Sagittarius, who are you potentially dealing with this week? Cancer. Okay. Capricorn, who are you potentially dealing with this week? Gemini, okay. Aquarius, what about you? Who are you potentially dealing with this week, okay? Um, Aquarius, you could be dealing with a Virgo. They also had you, okay? And last but not least is Pisces, honey. Pisces, you could be dealing with a Taurus. Sun, moon, rising, Venus placements, your chart, or, you know, who, they, could, they could have it anywhere in their chart. Or this could be someone maybe that they're dealing with. Now, let's do guidance for all 12 signs. From Aries to Pisces, in that order, I'm, I'm going to do a collective reading tomorrow, whatever spirit wanted to talk about. Let's see, four, six. Now, this could be guidance that you need to maybe really consider or something that you might want to avoid you or somebody around you, okay? Okay, so keep that in mind. Guidance, please, for all 12 zodiac signs from Aries to Pisces. In that order, please. Guidance, please, for all 12, <laughs> all 12 zodiac signs from Aries to Pisces in that order, please. One second. Guidance, please. Let's go. Thank you, Spirit and the Divine. All right, here we go. Aries, guidance for you to either consider and or things you might want to consider avoiding. You are a cross watcher, light worker, transmute dark to light. So something's going to be coming to light, Aries. You're being guided to bring it to light. Okay, Taurus. You got summer, youth, excitement, and fun, explore. So, Taurus, you're having a lot of fun. Maybe you're going to the beach or you're you're being asked to be excited about exploration. Okay? Something about Gemini, uh, Cancer, Leo, too, as well. Okay? Or summer season. Okay? Um, Gemini, you got poison apple. Beware. Caution. Red flags. Pay attention to that and others, but also in yourself. Something ain't right about the situation, Gemini. Or somebody uh, may feel that way about you. Okay? Um, cancer, you've got root chakra, stabilize and security. Focus on your stability here. Stabilize and security with your root chakra. Stay, stay grounded and, okay, focus on stability right now. Okay, Cancer, all right, Leo, you've got mask. Unveil what's, what is hidden, so take off the mask, Leo. You did have this that came out in your reading. Your guidance is to unveil what is hidden to take off the mask and or cross watch it, okay? Virgo, yours is witch, divine feminine. Somebody is the witch or someone's a natural born witch, okay? Or this is you. One more on that. Uncrossing, to undo what was done. You think somebody here put a curse on you or put a love spell on you? I don't think that they did. Or you did that to somebody or you want to do that to somebody, okay? But I don't think that they did. Somebody who does that only manifests things that they want to do. It says to undo what was done, uncrossing. Or you want to unfuck somebody, okay? Like you want to undo what you did to another person, but you can't. Or them, you, okay? It's got to play, run its course, is what I heard. Or you thought somebody did something to you, they didn't, okay? All right, Libra. Focus on self love. You are worthy. Remember that, Libra, okay? Scorpio. Direction. Make a decision. You're making a decision and choosing direction, which is what? Elixir. Finding a cure and a solution. You're making a decision to find a cure to your problem or situation, or you're you're making a decision to choose a direction that is the solution, or to find one. Okay, Sagittarius, you got uh, the seer, clairvoyance, seeing into future events. Somebody can see right through it, or you can. Either you, somebody can see right through your bullshit, or you can see right through someone else's bullshit. Or there's somebody on the outside that already predicted that this shit was gonna happen, and everybody knows, or you do. Or somebody else does, okay? Maybe you need to get a reading. This this was predicted. Whatever this was was predicted. Either you did or somebody else did it. 
you are a seer or somebody else is okay or there could be two all right um capricorn you got heartbroken enduring intense pain of loss you're very heartbroken or somebody else is very heartbroken because you're leaving them behind yeah death barren absence there's something about healing from from something leaving something behind okay you're missing someone very deeply if you lost somebody you have my deepest condolences okay also something they want you to be aware of here if you're punishing somebody for heartbreak if okay if you're okay, gotta start healing somewhere okay if not you're gonna lose more people or they are going to lose you because they're not willing to do the inner work or something like that something about winter coming up for you too capricorn which is your season right um aquarius you got coven support system you have a support system or your 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 support system is coming to you okay or you need a support system or you're offering support to somebody someone's offering support to you about what child is giving or receiving love offers okay you need you need somebody you need people around you that really love you um or somebody else needs people around them that really love them be careful be careful if you were a support system to somebody else's connection and you're now cheating with that their spouse that's that's fucked up or if cross watcher you're doing that to aquarius that's fucked up everybody's about to know if that's the case okay Maybe you fall in some fall in love with somebody who gave you support, or they fell in love with you that gave them support. Okay, of course. All right, Pisces. We got um born witch. Pisces, the powers in your bloodline. Use it wisely, or somebody else has the power in their bloodline. You can't take it from them. And wind, shift and change. Somebody here can create can control the winds. Someone someone's a weather a weather witch or weather magic. I don't know what that means. There's a big shift and change. Somebody's power is growing or yours is, okay? okay and that's what i got hello it's in their bloodline or it's in yours okay Whew, that's what i got i will do a collective tomorrow please take what resonates i love you guys so much don't forget to like share comment subscribe check out patreon channel below if you want a private reading emails also below timestamps will be in the description box below and the comment section below definitely check out the intro it's very important okay i love you guys and i'll talk to you later bye i will upload this probably after i get back from what i'm going to do all right bye y'all